Richo, I'm going to whip up a really easy everyday peanut stew. So you can make this in a big pot if you want to. I'm going to make a kind of a little portion for you and I. So I have some beautiful first foundations to this stew. Now I have onion and garlic, which I would love you to chop up. Sure. And a bit of ginger. Now I'm going to use a special pan today that's really made for gentle cooking. Now us nutritionists like that because it means it retains those nutrients a nice. little bit more than just going for it, you know. So nice and slow, steady. Oh, so the other pans that go for it for me and the gentle ones for, to retain bit, nutrients for you. A little bit okay. gentle. So I'm just going to put the heat on. Now, the great thing about this pan is that it's really good for beginners because there is a thermo spot here that when it changes colour, it tells you the pan is ready to nice, go, I which like is that. brilliant. It's always helped a little bit with a bit of good extra virgin olive oil just on there. Now, I have some ginger. Now, ginger's beautiful in anything, especially when it's kind of slow cooked. You can start to smell that coming out. Full of beautiful medicinal properties as well. So it's anti nausea, anti all sorts. So that's going to go straight in the pan just there. And we want this on a bit of a low heat, so not too much, because, like we say, we're going to very slowly use these ingredients here. Oh, excellent chopping there. Like so that. some beautiful onion and garlic. So what we'll do is just let those ones sweat off. While they're sweating off, keep your eye on those, Adrian. I've okay? got, got my eagle eye on it. There keep go. your eye on those. I have a bit of kale. Now, I know that sometimes you cringe a little when I bring this in. I'm just going to show you and remind you how to cook kale. Now, where people go wrong is they cook it with this horrible barky bit on there. Nobody likes that, not even trained nutritionists. Well, you could throw the like whole thing out and start with something like spinach. <laughs> no. That would be better, wouldn't it? Well, you could do that, but kale is beautiful. It's wonderful. It's full of iron, all this lovely green means it's got chlorophyll in it, which means basically it's anti-aging. It's exactly what we want. So we want to rip that off so there is none of that chewy bit on there. Now, I'm going to stick a little bit of this kale on that, just fry that off a little. Like and what that. we are going to do, we are going to slowly cook this so that this lovely chunk of sweet potato will cook. So we want that to be very, very small there. Now, I have some tomato, chopped tomatoes here. Nice, are you like going to say something, AJ? I thought you slow. That means I should make a cup of tea and we should have a little... Not you know, that slow. And... We're about somewhere in the middle. Nice, okay. Somewhere in the middle there. So a little bit of chopped tomato. Now, of course, it can't be a peanut stew without peanuts. Now, you can crush them and things like that. We can put some, actually, like this, because nice. the great thing is when you cook with nuts, they do soften and there's a nice crunch that's still there. But I'm just going to hack it. And I have a bit of peanut butter here. Gone for crunchy again, but you can use whatever is just lingering in your cupboard. Nice. You can clear the cupboard out as well with veggies as well here. So you've gone for the, uh, for the, for the chunky uh, peanut oh, butter? I went for the, uh, the chunky peanut right there. Like now, there's a bit of black pepper just over there, if you could just hand that one over to me. Put it straight in for you? Yes, please. I'm going to put a generous amount of Murray River salt flakes just in there. Now, we need a few spices as well. I mean, you can have it just like that, but it is nice to infuse it with a few things. So, a oh, beautiful cumin. We love this spice, don't I, we? I've got peanut butter in my mouth. I can't talk. Oh. Have a bit of that as well. It smells good. <laughs> yeah. So, I've got a bit of cumin just in there and some chilli. We do love our chilli, don't we? We, love we want to yeah. do anything we eat for a living. We want to make sure our metabolism is going really, really well. So, we want to have some of that there. And what we'll do is we'll just let that one sweat off a little bit. We'll plop some of that sweet potato in there. Put it in now? Yes, please. Okay, there we go. Now, we obviously need a bit more liquid to make sure that we do cook that sweet potato and it has a little swimming pool to cook with. We keep talking about swimming pools. I love swimming pools. We I must think, be I, in West I, Africa. I've got you on the uh, swimming pool there. So I have some beautiful uh, vegetable broth nice. just here, but you can use chicken or beef or whatever you've got here. But this is, I'm, I'm to, I've taken the opportunity to make a vegan dish uh, right here. So what I'm going to do is just let that one cook away. Meanwhile, we're going to put a bit of quinoa on so we have a nice little grainy side and then we'll bring it all together and have a taste. That has all softened up beautifully. So plop a bit of quinoa just in, in the there. Of That's nice, it. I like that. I will get my trusty ladle. Now I love that there's actually whole peanuts in here that you will still get that, that kind of crunch, but it's soft, easy on the teeth. Grandma can handle really? it as well, which is great. <laughs> I love that. So a few extra peanuts just on the top there, more for aesthetic reasons, really, but adds a nice crunch to coriander as well. That's it. And all we've got now is to have a little taste. It's really so, delicious. The sweetness of the potato has already come through it. It's got a bit of sweetness to it. It's really delicious. I love it. Well mm. done. That's beautiful. The peanut butter's kind of acted a bit like the tomato paste. It's richened things up a bit, but then it's given that, obviously, iconic peanut butter flavour. That is divine.